Today I'm gonna to go over some of the details of our lawn care business buyout. We had some questions about this and I wanted to make sure I got into everything just for you. Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Godar and my channel helps contractors deliver and clients experience a luxurious everyday life through property transformation. Today we're talking about the details of our lawn care business buyout. I had some questions uh, from uh, some people on some of the comments and I, I wanted to hit on a, a brief detailed video of, of what all the answers to those are. So we're gonna go over some of the revenue, what we paid, what kind of uh, money we paid on the equipment, different things like that, and where we expect it to take us and, and what we expect this to do in the future. So let's get right into it. Number one, how much equipment did we purchase? We purchased $65,000 of equipment. None of that was financed, that was all paid with cash. So that was a, a really big relief that we were able to do that this year and make sure that we were able to bring that into the business and continue servicing it, all of the clients with, with what we needed to do, but just the minimum amount. I said that in the video before that we got the amount it took to do the work and nothing else. Because I really feel like if you're buying someone else's stuff, you can potentially be buying someone else's problems, especially when you're buying a lot of stuff. And that was why I didn't wanna buy a, a ton of equipment. I wanted to buy just what we needed. So we got four trucks, we got three trailers. Um, I think there was two mowers that went with every, with three of those trucks. So two, two riding mowers went with every one of those trucks. Um, all the stick equipment to do all of the work because basically they had three crews to do all of the mowing they had. And, um, and then some other little miscellaneous stuff that we felt necessary. And that was what we purchased with that. And that was the equipment that was purchased. Number two, what did we pay for the lawn care accounts? How did we figure what the lawn care, the fertilizer accounts, how many of them were there? A lot of these numbers I'm giving you close. I'm not giving you super, super specific details. I'm just giving you a close idea. So if you do it for you, you'll have a good idea and you can do the same thing. So for the mowing part of it, we paid 20% of the yearly revenue for mowing. and We paid 40% of the yearly revenue for fertilizer. There were roughly roughly 275-ish mowing accounts and there were closer to 300 fertilizer accounts that were purchased in all this. Um, that's what we based it all off of was reoccurring revenue. There was no payout for the reoccurring fall cleanup or, or any of those things. So it was only the reoccurring revenue driven through the services. Um, if there was, there was no contracts on any of this except for the commercial work, all the, uh, all the residential work was contract free. It's the same way we operate. Um, it does not pose a lot of fear to me because I know we can continue on because there were some stipulations in this that if people were to go away just because of change of name, that we would not have to pay for that. So all in all for the accounts, we paid a total of 120,000. That was the, the top line number. There are some deductions of that because of prepayments and if accounts drop off. So that is the figure for what we paid for that. So that's the figure of what all of that cost. The third question, how much revenue did this business produce? Well, we don't do snow piling, so we're gonna have to pull that off the table. And that was on a lot of the revenue. And there were some different things that we probably won't do the same way, uh, but Roughly, I would say it looks like it could do 750 to 850 operating under us doing it. So that's kind of the boost we're expecting to get. But with all of the sales work we do, um, our big plan for expansion in 2021, uh, we're, we're gonna go from 107 to three and a half million in sales. And with that being said, we're going to take all of those clients and we see the opportunity to sell even more to those and turn that 800,000 let's say roughly, and turn that into one and a half million or turn that into uh, one million, you know, just by selling back so much work. And that's what's already happened. And we just saw the opening of, of how many other services we offer where we can serve these clients well. So that was a lot of the upside in this too, is the additional sales we'll get for these in the future. So that's some of the rough details of the business. I wanted to make sure I'm being transparent with everyone like I always am and sharing what I thought was cool points that if I was gonna buy a business, I'd be wanting to know. I'd wanna know how did they figure the payments? How did they work that out? Um, how was it financed? The owner financed over several months, the 120,000 to us, um, and we are over halfway through the payments on those. So it all went really well. It's been super, super exciting. 
ask some questions, leave some comments down here on what other things you'd wanna know about this because I wanna make sure I hit on every single part of this buyout. I'm gonna link the other two videos for the buyout in the end screen. Check those out, leave some comments, ask questions, and make sure to subscribe. See ya.